Hello traders, this is Rich from TradeSite. This is a look at our market leading stocks for the coming session. This is going to be for Monday, February 17th, 2014. Got a very, very low volume session going ahead of the uh, the three day weekend. Uh, a couple signals to talk about. Uh, a little bit stacked up slightly to the buy side here on, on, the, uh, on the NASDAQ patch. We've got uh, contract candles in eBay and Qualcomm. We've got an RPS setting up right now in uh, in the BlackBerry. BlackBerry is especially weak today. That's almost three percent below the day's open. That's that's got a uh, a contra candle going right. It's got a uh, open close deviation going right now. For the most part, you can see we've got we've got volume deviations here. For the most part, we're volumes down. Got decent volume in Adobe, OK volume in Altera and First Solar, but everything else is really tracking really really light. Here's a look at the financials. Uh, again, light volume. And keep in mind that, that the market's making new highs here on uh, on declining volume, which is uh, always notable. We have a couple of uh, potentially important signals. We've got a downside CPS in uh, in Citigroup. We also have a, the same condition in Morgan Stanley MS. And by association, you might want to keep an eye on Goldman Sachs as well uh, for next week. Take a look at the energy names. Uh, a little better volume than the overall market. We've got an RPS to the downside in Chevron. And we've got the same condition in uh, Exxon Mobil. Exxon Mobil is actually trading some decent volume. Everything else is pretty sloppy. Uh, Devon Energy, uh, Rig, um, some of these more leveraged names are, are fairly weak today. Uh, definitely the, the two standouts are Arch, Cole, ACI, and uh, Valero is having a good session today. Moving on to the generals, definitely uh, a little bit better to sell here. Uh, RPS signals are really the dominant. Uh, the dominant ones here, we're seeing um, you know, stocks start to pull off the highs, and that's actually setting up these uh, these downside signals. We do have a volume bump in UNH, and some fairly decent volume in um, in Comcast as well, still spilling over from the news from the other day. Uh, as far as open close deviations, uh, we've got one in uh, in UNH. Got some pretty decent price action in IBM. That's uh, flirting with the static trend line on the uh, daily. Uh, Comcast is decent. Caterpillars. Uh, fairly strong as well. Verizon is the one that's fairly weak today. That one's more than 1% below the day's open already. Moving on to the housing names. Again, the theme is light volume. Uh, Toll Brothers is up pretty strong, but that one's putting in a downside RPS. DHI is having a pretty good update here, albeit on light volume, and that one's got an upside CPS. Uh, transportation names here, nothing's moving too much. Uh, UNP is up about 1% versus the open. That's the only one that's really exerting any kind of real pressure. Moving on to the commodity names, this is where we're starting to see some weakness. Uh, I've got weakness in Barrick Gold, Silver Wheaton, Double G, and Numa. Those are all precious metals names, and they're all indicated to the downside via contra candles. Keep an eye the uh, the gold futures jump rope, the uh, or uh, the gold DTF today, uh, they were playing jump rope to 200 DMA, and it's probably going to pull back in there. So keep an eye on that for uh, for next week. All right, folks. As always, thanks for listening. This has been Rich for TradeSite.